two massive excuses. Excuses that I used to use over and over again. Excuses that stopped me from dropping fat, stopped me from feeling happy, from getting the confidence that I deserved. The first one is that I'll start when I've lost 10 pounds. I will start going to the gym, putting in work on my nutrition, doing what needs to be done when I've lost 10 pounds. That was back in the day. That was bullshit. It was just an excuse because I was scared. I was scared about what I had to give up, just like you may be. I was scared that I might have to go and eat chicken and broccoli five times a day, that I might have to bust my ass so hard that I can't sit on the toilet and take a shit for five days. It was scary, so scary, believe me. And then going in the gym. It was scary to go in the gym, to walk through those doors, and to be greeted with that loud music right in front of me with the machines there that tower over you like some machine that's going to take over like Terminator. And then those muscly dudes grunting. People there taking selfies, acting like a unicorn. People just, in all reality, just getting on with what they're doing. I was scared of people looking at me, laughing at me because I was the beginner. Because I was the fat one there. I was the unhealthy one. And it's scary. When you walk through those doors, it is another world. But let me tell you this. This one thing. If you're waiting to lose that first 10 pounds, the quickest way to do it is to get accountability. Get the plan that works for you. If that involves training at home, cool. But if you're going to the gym and you are scared of people looking at you, no, they're too busy looking at themselves to take time out to look at you. Too busy scrolling through Facebook in between sets. Too busy trying to take that perfect selfie with the perfect lighting to put on Instagram to say, dude, I'm living my best life. Hashtag FitFam. No, they're not going to be looking at you. You pay just the same membership that they pay. You have just as much right to be in the weight section as the big dude lifting 200 kilos. You have all the right to be there, to be healthy, to be happy, to be confident, to be you. Waiting to lose that first 10 pounds or whatever that magic number is, is bullshit. If you need to speak about it to build that confidence, cool, get in touch with me. The second excuse, I'm just too busy. This is what I hear over and over again. You're too busy to be healthy? No, again you are scared. You are scared, you are worried. Because we see every single day on our screens, because he's got the market and locked down, Gary V is there. That inner Gary V is within you. Are you fucking hustling enough to get the results you deserve? Are you putting in the work? to get the results you deserve? Are you spending the time you need to on your business? You can't watch Netflix, you can't watch sport because he's never consumed one of Steph Curry's baskets through the whole of last season. Because he's been hustling. But if Gary V is that busy and he can take Jordan Sire to train him every single day, why can't you you're not too busy. It's fear. And I 100% get that as well. Because I used to be scared to put in that work. I would make the excuse that I was too busy building my business, which was in fitness, when my health actually got pushed to the side. It is scary to know you are building your business, to have employees, to have things you need to do, jobs you need to commit to. Because if you go and work on your health, what if it doesn't work? You're then behind in your business. What if it doesn't work? You've then lost more money. What if it doesn't work? You've then lost time you could spend with your partner. What if it doesn't work? That time you could spend with your children. The time you could spend watching Steph Curry doing some free pointers. The time you could spend building that business so you don't have to hustle. 
So when you've done that stuff, you can focus on your health. The problem is, if you are waiting for that moment where you are not too busy, if that moment eventually comes, you won't have 10 pounds to lose until you start. It will be 20, 30, 40, if that time actually comes where you haven't had the impact on your heart, on your health that is non-reversible. If you start and you're worried about what if it doesn't work, what if it does? What if it does work? What if you do lose that fat? What if you do feel amazing? What if you do actually get more work done in less time? The four hour work week starts to become closer and closer to a reality. When you thought Tim Ferriss was speaking a load of bullshit in the past. What if you had that focus, that productivity, that accountability to get that done? And you weren't scared about going in the gym. Just like you weren't scared, you weren't worried about wasting time you could have spent with your family. What if it actually worked? I'm here to say that it can work. If you want to know more, get in touch with me. Revitalizationblueprint.com forward slash let's talk. Apply for coaching and I will get back to all inquiries to see if you are fit within 24 hours. What if it works? I look forward to speaking to you.